what's up you guys welcome back so it's officially one of my favorite times of the year halloween so i'm doing a new thing it's going to be called seven nights of fright which i'm giving you guys seven different halloween diy looks so stay tuned to see how i achieve this first look which is my fairy Okay, so I'm first starting off by putting my hair in two buns. Uh, my hair is wet. I didn't wash it or do anything to it. I just wet my hair and I'm just applying some gel to smooth it out. So my original plan for this um, makeup look was to do my hair in two ponytails. I was gonna add some extra hair just to give my hair just, you know, some extra length. And I was gonna spray paint um, the fake hair with pink and blue hairspray so my right eye as you can see it looks dark on camera because I had started recording I had started putting makeup on and then I realized I didn't like how <laughs> the hair was coming out so I just decided to improvise I took the makeup off and I recorded the whole video over and so now you guys are seeing like the second shot of me doing my makeup and my hair So once my hair is in two ponytails, I'm literally just taking my hair and kind of twisting it into form a bun. Now, I use this method sometimes when I do my hair in two buns, but for normally I would take my time to actually create like the bun that I actually want and make it bigger and fluff it out. But for the purpose of this video, I decided to just do like this quick method just to do it this way by just twisting my hair. It still came out cute, but like I said, normally I would have taking more time to really define and shape the bun to my liking. Okay, now that my hair is finished, I'm taking some concealer and I'm just placing it on my eyelids just to give my eyes just that base coat before I apply my eyeshadow makeup. And I already did my eyebrows off camera, as you can see. I'm taking Laura Lee's Party Animal Palette. It's the bright lime green color and I'm gonna apply that to my brow bone. Next, I'm taking ColourPop's Hocus Pocus Palette and I'm taking this purple color to apply to my crease. This color is called Dead Man's Toe. Now going back to the Party Animal Palette, I'm taking the hot pink eyeshadow and I'm just applying that color to my lids. So I had no clue how I wanted to do um, this makeup look. I literally was just winging everything. I did not know what I really was doing. I just knew I wanted to use pink, purple, and blue. So I applied blue eyeshadow on. And at first, I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. And then I, once I blended it out, I was like, okay, it'll come out good eventually. So now I'm just spraying my eyeshadow brush and I'm applying some glitter to my lids just to give it some extra sparkle. So this is the Wet n Wild um, Rest in Pink palette. And the glitter, the reason why I sprayed my um, brushes so that way it can pick up the glitter. And it took a while, like I literally had to like go in three or four times to get this glitter to really pack onto my lids. And I feel like my eyeshadow always looks crazy at first because my lids are so tiny. I have such tiny little lids. So I just applied um, my lashes off camera and then I'm taking my foundation, which I use the CoverGirl True Matte Foundation. And I sprayed my face um, with my NYX Setting Spray beforehand. Then I'm just taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color form, which I love this concealer. And I'm just applying it. Um, in the places I want highlighted, so under my eye, um, my cupid's bow, my chin, and my forehead. And now I'm just going to blend that out with a wet beauty blender. Next, I'm taking this old contour stick, which I've had for years. I'm not even sure. I think it is from Milani. And I'm just going to buff that out. Now, I'm just taking some setting powder, and I'm going to set the areas where I've placed concealer. So, same places, under my eyes, 
um, the, my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow on my forehead. So I usually let my um, setting powder sit for maybe about no more than about three minutes. Um, I really don't like it to sit that long because sometimes it gets really, really white. Um, then I'm just going to buff that out. Just buff it away with the fluffy brush. And like I said, I don't leave it on too long because as you can see, it can get a little white. So I just kind of like leave it for no more than two or three minutes. So now I'm just applying some blush to my cheeks and I'm applying more than usual because I've wanted a really rosy look. So I'm just applying a lot and trying to really pack on that pink color. So now I'm just taking this eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the purple that's in it and I'm gonna apply that to my cheeks as well, like right above like where my highlight would be. Now I'm gonna take back to the ColourPop palette and I'm applying that purple that's on my lids to my cheeks as well. So when I think of fairies, I think of, you know, they're mythical creatures. So they always have like that holographic look to them. So that's what I was trying to do here. As you see, like I said, I'm literally winging it at this point. That's why I applied the blue dots on my forehead. Then I realized I didn't really like it and it wasn't blending out well. So then I went uh, back in and applied some purple over it just to give it, just to dull that blue out. Now I'm just going to take some and apply it to the bridge of my nose and I'm going to blend that out. At first I was like, oh, I applied too much. So I went ahead and just kept blending. That's why I was laughing, just blending everything out. Then I took my beauty blender just to, you know, erase some of it. Next I'm taking this lipstick from Wet n Wild, this purple lipstick to line my lips. I didn't have a purple lip liner, so that's why I'm using the lipstick just to give it an outline. Then I'm going to take some of the lipstick and just dab it onto my lips. And then I'm going to take my finger to kind of blend that color in as well. Now I'm taking this lavender lip gloss, which I got from the beauty supply store maybe about like six years ago. I don't even know. It's so old. And I'm going to apply that to my lips. And now I'm just gonna apply this lip gloss that I got from Shop Miss A, it was only a dollar. So next I'm just applying some highlight and I'm using MAC Showgirl. I absolutely love this highlight. It gives you such a silverish pink look, which I think went perfectly with the makeup look. So I found these press on gem stickers which I was like oh this is gonna be perfect so I just thought it would add just an extra touch so I'm literally just applying this in different places over my face I really like I said I was just doing whatever I didn't even know where I wanted to apply them I just kind of was putting them wherever I thought would fit and would look pretty so I'm just applying that all over to my face so then I found this flower headband at Walmart and I'm just cutting out the part where they had the clips attached. The whole headband didn't have clips, it just had clips on two sides. So I just cut those little flowers out and placed them inside of my buns. And that's pretty much it for my makeup look. So now I'm just gonna go get changed to show you guys the final look of everything. Bibbidi bobbidi boo and this is it. This is my final look for my fairy my DIY fairy look so this actually was really fun to do and it actually came out better than expected I was so surprised once I put my costume and everything on um the tutu I found at Walmart it was only ten dollars and I got it in the little kids section the my bodysuit I already previously had the wings I got from Dollar Tree the wand I got from Dollar Tree so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow on my next video for my seven nights of fright